back to the Music Play Minutes podcast. This episode is also available as a webinar with a handout and a PD certificate. All extra resources, including the visual examples mentioned in this episode, can be found at workshops.musicplay.ca. October is here with its own spooky kind of cheer. Denise Gagne and John Jacobson will share spooky activities and a few Halloween ideas. Someone once said, don't play with your food, but they didn't say anything about composing. Okay, welcome to our Halloween webinar for 2022. I'm Denise Gagne. This is my good friend, John Jacobson, and we are going to share some fun ideas for Halloween and for the kids that don't do Halloween, that are still fun things. So it's it's important that we be inclusive for all kids. So we're going to start with John, and John, take it away. Well, I we were just talking about this before we got online, that that, that um, Denise loves Halloween. I've always found the whole thing kind of scary to me, but and people dressing up like crazy things and thinking they can act abnormally, but I guess that just sort of defines middle school. Anyway, um, I don't, we, we have some JJ and me things. I hope that some of you have been using them. We're adding more JJ and me stuff all the time. In fact, we just recorded a slew of new songs and videos and stuff for you that are gonna be coming up in the next couple of weeks. But I do have one pumpkin song in your in JJ and Me Music Play Online that I'd like to share with you. Um, it's called Pumpkin Pie, and it's about making a pumpkin pie. So you can use it all through the autumn or any time. Maybe some of you have used it already. I'm going to try to show you where it is here on screen. This is the first page that you come to when you see on the Discover page. So if you clicked on Discover, you come to this. And then for us, we have this little area right here called Just Sing for the Seasons. And we'll be adding a lot more um, material here as we go. Right now, as you can see, we've got some for the winter holidays. We've got some um, for African-American um, days. We've got patriotic songs. And right here is our fall and Thanksgiving um, songs that we have right now. So I'm just going to open that up and show you because the first one and maybe if we have time at the end of Denise maybe we can jump to try and show one of our thankful songs if you're getting ready for um you know Thanksgiving or something you might I've got a couple of thankful gratitude songs there you can use year round but work particularly well in the autumn but the one I wanted to show you today is this pumpkin pie song and because for the littlest ones for those of you who teach the really the youngest and I'm going to open up to view this song you see we've got notation with vocals notation with accompaniment Lyrics with vocals, lyrics with accompaniment, but I want to show you is more videos right here where it says more videos. Click on that. And I've got a little spot where I teach the song, but basically it's a game and the kids sit in a circle. So I'm going to do, I'm going to touch on the full choreography screen so you can watch some kids do it. It's way more fun than me. But what you do is I got this for $4 at my local grocery outlet. We call it gross outlet, but it's our best grocery store in town. And so uh, $4, I got this really squishy pumpkin, which works the best. And you have the kids all sit in a circle and it really is just practicing the beat, passing passing the pumpkin on the beat. It's nine little, eight little, seven little pumpkins, six little, five little, four little pumpkins, three little, two little, one little pumpkins, make a pumpkin pie. And who is ever holding it when they get to the end of that, that little refrain, has to stand up, skip around the circle and get back to their place. Then the bridge of it, I think is kind of fun. You could do a lot of stuff with it because the bridge is all the ingredients that go into a pumpkin pie. Like you, and you, and you chant them and you march around the room chanting these, but it would be a great, like, like I have no idea what's in a pumpkin pie if you want to know the truth, but it's like cinnamon, cardamom, you know, um, spice, and you can teach or you can teach quarter notes on each one of those, um, uh, each one of the different um, ingredients that go into a pumpkin pie. But mostly it's just fun. Watch these kids play it. They just got such giggles out of it. I hope you can see it and hear it. Let me know somebody. Kind of Here we go. Crisscross applesauce. And she skips. One time around and sit down make again. Wait. Okay, get ready. Now start passing hey, again. Let's try it again. And pass. They're close to the beat. <laughs> okay, and he skips. Skip. Make One person. Here he goes. He was a real rascal. 
<laughs> now go to the middle, go to the middle, and we're all going to jump around to him. And march around. Ginger, flour, cinnamon, sugar, eggs, and salt. And have fun Close marching in a circle. Shortening will bring a nice result. Put it all together, better use a measuring cup. Find your places and sit down again. You, sit down. You, you just and cast the pumpkin. Up. Go, pass it. You can do it half time or four times. You skip. Make a pumpkin pie. Make a pumpkin pie. And you find your place. Get ready for the big yum at the end. Yum, rub your tummy. <laughs> now that's art. <laughs> but I'm telling you, the kids got such a kick out of doing it. They were giggling the entire time. And uh, we just had a had a blast. So hopefully you will too. So that's my contribution to the to the pumpkin part of this day. And if I'll get back with you a little bit. Take it away, Denise. I, I think you should do one of your thankful songs because that only took like two minutes. So well, I okay, think- sure. You know, I, I did want to do one of my thankful songs because one of them, I wrote a couple of them. One of them is called At Our Table, which is really a song about um, that everybody's welcome at the table. No matter what kind of family you come from, no matter what kind of your background, everybody's welcome at the table. And then the other one we wrote is, is a thankful song. And yes, it works for... Um, Thanksgiving, it worked at that time of year, but I really wrote it with the idea any, of any time that you have somebody in your school that you want to thank, the principal comes to your classroom to observe, or there's a teacher or a parent who has done something nice for you for, in your class, you should always have a gratitude song in your back pockets. And I think this thankful song kind of does it. And it's, it's a slow song, so it was an easy one to do sign language on. to all of you, of course. Just sing along here. Waking up this morning, looking at the sun, I have a special feeling I want to share with everyone. It is here inside my heart, I can feel it grow and grow. It's easier the lot more you do it.
you know, and, and thing about it is you can, um, you can leave out if it gets for the littler kids, especially um, you can, uh, you can leave off words. Just get you. All you're trying to do with sign language really is to get the basic message out, right? You know, the, the whole trick is just to leave to use what um, the very the basic words and get the basic meaning out. So yeah, I think that words those slow songs like that are helpful, and you can use that all year long. How's that? That is awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. Uh, so we're back again. Um, so I'm going to go on to some of our Halloween songs. I don't know how many of you actually get the newsletter, but I put what was in the newsletter this week into um, handout. And I really do enjoy Halloween. I love seeing my grandkids dress up, but I'm very uh, cognizant of the fact that we have a lot of kids who don't do Halloween. So I still want to give the feeling of minor and a feeling of a little spooky, but not say any Halloween words so that all kids can do it. So I am going to share my screen and I'm going to go first into the song Pumpkin Fact. So this one is in the song list and it's in kindergarten actually, but if I just search Pumpkin Fact in the song list, it's going to show up. And we did something new um, for it. So I'll let you hear the song. It's a simple little song. You can accompany with your ORF instruments if you've got them. there is to the song. It's good practice for preparing them for So and Me, um, but it's the game that the kids love. This is Janae Julian's kids, and they're older than kindergarten age, but you can see by their faces, even the older kids are really enjoying this. So they're facing out. There's one in the middle, and when the, the song is over, the ones that are on the outside of the circle jump around and make the scariest face they can at the one in the middle. And the one in the middle's job is to pick the scariest face. I have the kids keep the beat like she's doing. And then they pick the scariest face to go on. So kids really like the game. You can play that game every class that you have from now till Halloween, and the kids aren't going to get tired of it. But what I really want to show you here is our new Prepare Solfa activities. I'm not sure actually how new they are. I think they were here last year. But um, this interactive is great. So it starts off just by playing the song. So we've heard it already, but the next little guy is an interactive and he puts his hands up with the high notes and down with the lower notes. And that's what I want the kids to do. Pumpkin, pumpkin, round and fat. Turn into a jack-o'-lantern just like So the kids will really get the hang of higher and lower notes. And I'd like to suggest that you do it lots of different ways. Stand up for the high notes. Sit down for the low notes. Join hands in a circle. Raise hands for the high notes. Lower them for the low notes. Do it with a parachute or a stretchy band. Um, so this next uh, interactive shows how the notes go Melodic go. contour. Pumpkin, pumpkin, round and fat. And only one page fits, so we have to go to the second Ready, page. Ready, go, turn into a jack-o'-lantern just like that. And then we have some uh, little interactive games here. So which pattern is going to be pumpkin, pumpkin? It's going to be this one. Round and fat will be this one or this one. Could be either. Turn into a jack-o'-lantern. Which one is it? And you'll notice these are boom whacker colors. So if you want to, you could play them on your boom whackers. So that is the pumpkin fat interactive, which I think is really, really well done. My escape button isn't working. Now it is. Um, what I did to extend this that is recent is this trace and color notes. And this is what it looks like. Um, trace and color is something our kindergarten kids can do. And they love tracing treble clefs. And tracing and coloring the notes is a simple enough activity that all your little guys can do it. So 
I think there's lots and lots that you can do with that one simple little pumpkin fat song. I'm doing prep choir right now with a K1 group. I, we have over 30, so it's a little bigger than I wanted for playing games. But we're playing these games with them and we're doing these workshops, worksheets with them, and they are loving doing them. And they're going home with a different worksheet each week. And as I'm making them, of course, I'm adding them to where they go on Music Play Online. So that's lots of fun. So I'm going to take you next into the Halloween unit, and then I'll come back to the song list after. So this was the pumpkin fat. And the Halloween unit is in units. And if I go into festivals and holidays, I can find it a little easier, but they're alphabetical, so I can find it from the other. And here's Halloween. Here's all the related songs in music play. So can't do ghosts, look at the monsters. Can't do witches, look at spooky instead. Um, but there's tons of song resources for you. These are what is really fun. Halloween Treat Rondo, we actually have taken out the word Halloween, and now it just says Treat Rondo. So Treat Rondo, so every child can do it. And in this one, we wanna go through all the different candies. Butterfinger, which one is that? Um, next, I'm looking for Kisses, and that would be that one. Kit Kat, Life Savers, and Americans might not have all exactly the same candies as we do in Canada, so this is always interesting. Um, but you can do that first. So this is the little song that I wrote. Um, the kids in the, the town where I live, the city where I live, when, they, when I first moved here 30 years ago, 27 years ago, um, they they would sing this when they came to the door. Can a Halloween apples trick or treat, give me something good to eat. So I've just changed it a little bit again to be inclusive. If your kids can't sing about Halloween, candy apples, oh so sweet, give me something good to eat. And then they create a word rhythm with different kinds of candies. Butterfinger, butterfinger. Uh, I want to take that one away. Kisses, nerds, uh, skittles, snickers, twix, twix. Actually, I want to take the twix away and I want to put in Twizzlers, Twix. I always steal the kids' Twizzlers when they bring them home. So then we would choose a way to play them. So we would sing, candy apples, oh so sweet, Give me something good to eat. Butterfinger, Butterfinger, kisses nerds. And I might choose a different instrument. Skittles, Snickers, Twizzlers, Twix. So you can turn it into a little rondo. And I can show you what I have made. Put this so you can see it on my desk. So we've made candy cards. And so your students, my sh are, are you seeing this the right way or should I turn it around the other? This, this is okay? Okay, we can see. So nerds, Jolly Rancher, Twix, Skittles. If it was me, I would do it this way. So we have the final point at the end. Nerds, Jolly Ranchers, Skittles, Twix. So I would probably use the interactive to model how to make a pattern with these then give the kids the manipulatives and turn them loose in groups of two, three, four, how many um, smaller groups for younger kids generally is a whole lot safer than big groups, but they really enjoy making these patterns, choosing instruments to play. I limit them to two instruments. That's again, a whole lot safer than, than more instruments. If the color printing is not something that's possible in your school, they don't actually look terrible when you do them in black and white. So um, so that is the Treat Rondo. It was called Halloween Rondo before, but now it is just Treat, and you can use it with all your kids. Uh, here is Smelly Brew, and that's another one that's completely non-Halloween. And we have other things here. So we have Smelly Brew Rhythms Worksheet, an interactive for Smelly Brew, Word Rhythms, Word Rhythms Spooky. The dynamics are lots of fun for the kids. I didn't put these in my newsletter or in your handout, um, but the poem, In a Dark 
dark wood. It does say ghost, so you can't do this with the non-Halloweeners. But it's fun to maybe start quiet and get louder and louder and louder and louder and louder and loud. So you would have the kids read it then at these dynamic levels. In a dark, dark wood, there was a dark, dark house. And in that dark, dark house, there was a dark, dark room. And I'm already too loud for mezzo piano. But you get the idea. The kids really enjoy this. And there is a worksheet for them. So I've got the dynamics terms down here so they can review and then they write the dynamics in whichever way they want to go. They might want to go loud to quiet. Uh, the Halloween sound effects story has been one of the most popular with classes and I put it in the modules for week four of October for I think grades four, five, and six middle school because it's just so much fun. So the this here is a video exemplar that was written by um, our staff with sound effects in it. I'm going to go to the middle of it where we've got lots of sound effects happening. The house she saw was old and it looked a little spooky. Are you sure? Come on, silly. We'll fix it up and it'll feel like home in no time. They grabbed a few boxes and headed into the house. It smelled like dust. Your bedroom's upstairs. Why don't you go have a look? Arya climbed the stairs with Buttercup still in hand. She walked into the room, surprised by how big it was. So there's, you can hear some of the sound effects in the background. So here is the sound effects that kids can choose from. <laughs> and a girl screaming, crashing plates, door closing, cat meowing. There, there's just lots of fun. So in their worksheet that they get, they get lots of space to create a story and they get pictures of all the sound effects that they have access to as interactives. But there's nothing to stop them from adding other sound effects. Let's get some cool instruments out. Somebody posted a picture of a Viber slap on Music Play Teachers today, and I thought that would be very cool. So I, I think you go ahead and do whatever you wish to do. Interactive sound effects or sound effects in the classroom, get the kids to create sound effects, but they really have um, loved this activity. This is a good one. Um, bats have nothing to do with Halloween. They're just kind of a creepy, uh, creature. So this what do you know about bats is really good because what it does, it makes them name notes to tell bat facts. B, A, bats, A, E, R, A, C, T, I, V, E, at night. Bats are active at night. So they, there's five or six different slides for them to go through. And after you've done it as a class, modeling with the interactive, you could give them the pencil and paper version of it and have them do it. Again, we've got some spooky little things on the worksheets, but there's nothing that says overtly Halloween, so you can do it with everybody. Uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice is always fun and the the video of Sorcerer's Apprentice doesn't actually play the entire thing. It's an excerpt because it's quite long, but we have listening glyphs. So the listening glyphs, if you think that the tempo is slow, you color it orange. If you think it's medium, green. If you think it's yellow, or a fast, you color it yellow. So they do color it. So we have one that pictures a sorcerer, another that pictures a monster. And again, if you've got non-Halloween kids in the class, go with the monster one, because Monsters Inc. is popular with them all. So they listen to Sorcerer's Apprentice. And I could do it from the video. Or I could simply pull up the audio and play the audio track. And every time I hear that, I think of Mickey Mouse going up and down the stairs with those buckets of water. That's um, what comes to my mind. So Sorcerer's Apprentice, that is fun. We have Dance Macabre. Um, it says Sorcerer's Apprentice on here. We should, I'll screenshot it because we need to change that screen to Dance Macabre. This is Dana Hero. She is one of our music play teachers and she has done an amazing 
glow sticks routine to dance macabre. And again, teachers who did that last year really um, had good things to say about that particular activity. This is Tracy Stenner. She's a teacher in Edmonton. And she demonstrates here a cup game to Monster Mash, which again is fun. Here's the printable directions. Um, she does a story uh, video uh, suggestions for using the little old lady who was not afraid of anything. Some more suggestions for Rattlebone Rock room on the broom and where's my mummy so these are all external videos and um, they're they're great so now i want to take you to some of the songs that we have so i'm going to go to the song list and i'm going to go to pre-k first pre-k um there is actually little that says anything about halloween at all they all talk about spiders which I love, Eensy Weensy Spider. And then we have Little Miss Muffet. And the way I do Little Miss Muffet is like this. I take my two hands and I go Little Miss Muffet. I'll put it down here so you can see the table. Sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. It makes kind of a boring little nursery rhyme into something that's a lot more fun. Try with me. Hands out. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. And the longer you make them anticipate, the more fun it is. Another one of the poems we have in, uh, in pre-K is crisscross applesauce. I'm going to pretend this is one of my grandchildren. And on their backs, you draw criss, cross. On their shoulders, you tap applesauce with both fingers. And then you crawl up their back with both fingers. I crawl right up to their head, always make some giggle and laugh. Spiders crawling up your back. Then you blow on their neck, cool breeze. You squeeze their shoulders tight squeeze and then you tickle. Now you've got the shiveries. And I show in pre-K a demo of how you can do that with the whole class. I just kept them going around in a circle and the, the, one at the, um, the one that doesn't have anybody doing it, I go and do them to their back. And the one at the front of the line is gonna be doing it in the air or you could give them a stuffy and they could do crisscross applesauce on a stuffy. If you're worried about kids touching each other, just give them the stuffies and that um, kind of takes care of them. I have a nice version of Five Little Pumpkins in pre-K and here's crisscross applesauce, Five Little Pumpkins. It's um, again one that they can accompany with instruments. So Halloween version, there are witches in the air. This version, seasonal, there are leaves in the air. So no, no witches in this one. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are leaves in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run. witches in there but a nice spooky little thing. In kindergarten we already looked at pumpkin fat. The Halloween Luby Lou is also a lot of fun to do with the kids. This is one that I like to do with the parachute. So I'm going into kindergarten and I want Halloween Luby Lou. I'm just going to search Luby and it should show up. There it is number 35 and I'm going to show you the demo. And again, this is uh, Janae's students, not mine, and they do a great job.
And we'll have to ask anybody who can to uh, get a demo of actual kindergarten stu students doing this to send it to me. Um, during COVID, when we weren't actually touching and things, Lisa and I did an action song version of Halloween Looby Loo, and that was kind of fun. So you can do either or if you've got a class that you don't trust with the parachutes, and we sometimes have those, try this version instead. So if I go back to the song list and go to first grade, number 27 is I, uh, it's called Magic Spell. And this one is pure Halloween. It's got a witch in it and not all your kids are going to be able to do it. But I, I really like the song. If you can do Halloween with the kids, I'm a very tricky witch, a spell I'll cast on you. I'll say the words and wave my broom and you'll be something new. You could be a worm or you could be a goose. Abracadabra, you're a bird and now you're on the loose. And they have 16 beats to move like whatever they were turned into. But because again, not all kids can do it, I have written an alternate. And this is in the general song list and it's called I Can Pretend. And here it is. And stand up, get a stretch. We can use that after sitting for too long. same idea as I'm a tricky witch magic spell without the Halloween words. And then I have one in grade one and grade two that are about birds and bats. I'm going to take the grade two one, go to the song list and I'm going to go to grade two and I'm going to look for birds and bats. And this is one where we want sound effects. Looks like we have a kid's demo here. I didn't even know that. So let's look at the, um, the notation. This is new, all of grade one, all of grade two, and I think most of grade three now has the concept slides split up. And so you have a vocal track or an accompaniment track, whichever you want. So we'll use the vocal track since my voice doesn't work particularly well. Birds and bats fly through the sky, through the sky, through the sky. Birds and bats so what you want to do is to find an instrument that's going to accompany birds and bats fly through the sky, through the sky, through the sky. Um, that, that would be fine for that verse. The next one I think is the treats in the bag go clinkety clank. And I love my tambourines for that. And if you don't have a cool instrument like this one, you could do rattles his bones on a pair of sticks and it would be um, effective. So kids really enjoy that. I, I, I want to take the time to look at that but I know we're gonna run low on time. So that's grade two 
in grade three, we have There Was an Old Woman All Skin and Bones. That's also actually in grade five because I would teach the kids how to accompany it on the guitar. It uses only one chord, an E minor chord. So that would be one of the first guitar songs that my fifth grade would use. But I am going to move on to the bat song. And the bat song is in grade four. And I have to say, I think out of all the songs I've ever written for Halloween, this is perhaps my favorite. So I'm looking for grade four. There we go. And this one, again, easy to accompany on ORF instruments. <laughs> Can, um, do that with the accompaniment. There is an ORF arrangement that is not difficult. It's a very simple one. But then the fun part comes with adding sound effects. And I'm going to stop and I'm going to go to my bag of lovely balloons that I have. And what you do is you take a balloon. Oops. <laughs> And when you do the E, E sound at the end of each phrase, I'm scared to blow them up now. You add the sound effects with the E, E, E. And at the very end of the song, when the bats fly away, um, the kids holding the balloon let it go and then it flies away. These are obviously old balloons. Oh, that's much better. Okay, I'm going to share screen and do that song again with the actual sound effects. So I'll go out of my ORF arrangement and into the notation video and sing along and make the sound effects. One flew the way it was supposed to fly. Um, I I have always loved that song, and the kids enjoy it just as much just as much as I do. Uh, so fun fun song. It's spooky. It's in a minor key, but it says absolutely nothing about Halloween. So you can do it with every kid in your classroom. Um, there's one song in fourth grade called "Pass the Pumpkin." And so my pumpkin has an opening in it and I can pass rhythm cards around with it. I'm running out of time, but I'll take you to grade four and show you that one. So I'm going to song list and I'm going to grade four and it's called Pass the Pumpkin. And in this one, I'm gonna show you the kids, uh, actually we'll do the notation first because it's short. So this is what we do with it. So pass the pumpkin and we have a beat keeper appointed. Pass the pumpkin round the room. 
and that's a really easy way to make sure that it's on the beat and nobody argues about who's last. So she takes a rhythm, teacher holds it, and she claps it. This little girl was not from one of my schools, and she didn't do it very successfully, but she went up to the front of the room and started a rhythm chain. The rest of the class did it really quite well. And now we pass again to make person number two in the rhythm chain. So now Chen takes one. Very he was nice. a little piano player, so very All successful right. at clapping the rhythm. And then now these two turn the around. Can they remember Here them both? And I would continue the rhythm chain as many students as I could go. Um, I did a rhythm chain once in my Kodai levels, and I was the twelfth person in the chain, and it was it was challenging to remember all those rhythms. Um, the song is cute, and you can do it more than um, at Halloween. Pass a stocking round the room and put your rhythms in a stocking and do it at Christmas time. Pass the basket round the room and do it at Easter time. So you can get more mileage out of that, um, that one song. So those are lots of Halloween ideas from uh, Music Play Online, from what John Jacobson has written. I should mention, if you are looking for Thanksgiving songs, take a look at the Thanksgiving unit on, Hel um, on Music Play Online. I believe we have John's Thanksgiving song in there as well as um, one that Craig Castles wrote, which is quite a lovely one. So I will show you where that is. So go to units. Go to festivals and holidays, and now I'm going to look for Thanksgiving. And so now we have Craig Castle's We Are Thankful Children, and we have the Thankful Song by John, and we have a Thanksgiving Wishes poem and a word composition. So if you're looking for Thanksgiving activities for November, if you have a performance, there's an extra one here, and it's, it's quite pretty as well. Um, I love this choir that did it. It's a choir from Nova Scotia, and... And they did it with piano accompaniment, which is kind of nice as well. So a couple of options for you for Thanksgiving. So do you have any questions for John or for I? I haven't been looking at the chat. I've been too busy talking. There was was a question for John about um, if John's dance movement for Skin and Bones is still available on YouTube. I don't think so. I think um, that um, all my materials that used to be with Hal Leonard Publishing Company, they've kind of scrubbed off now and taken off my uh, all my um, all my videos of musical planets and all those sorts of things and all of that so you'll have to go to music play online <laughs> to find all kinds of new ones which when and really we're doing new ones all the time and i because literally i get messages from teachers every single day looking for things that they used to be able to get on youtube and now all of a sudden they're all gone and i had nothing to do with that and i have no control of it i i don't even have access to it believe it or not but um we have tons of new stuff coming on to um music play online and a lot of it you'll recognize the format at least for instance next week we'll have three new um, musical world units on we got us we have a folk song from nigeria we have one from um, greece and we have one from Canada, believe it or not, and with our travelogue thing. So I think we're up to, I don't know, about nine of those musical world ones now. And so we're building up that repertoire all the time. 
Similarly, I wanted to just mention, since we're talking about autumn and thankfulness and all of that, that um, we do have a couple of things that if it's not too late for autumn, you might take a look at. For instance, um, we have so many requests for people who want more and more um, Veterans Day or or Memorial Day material, Memorial Day in the spring, Veterans Day in the fall coming up pretty soon. I know you get these principals that come to you about a week before and say, can't you do a Veterans Day program? And you're like, hello, I was just working on skin and bones. But nonetheless, um, so we have a couple of scripts up that you might find um, useful and go to our, um, I'm not sure how I can do this. I seem to, oh, here we go. Um, if I could just quickly share my screen, I wanna show you one that's really brand new. If you go to here, um, it, and you'll find these in a couple of different places, but under under our um, music, John Jacobson musicals, there's right here, there's eight of them there right now. And we just added a brand new one right over here called Salute. And it's um, and the whole idea of it is that you know we the, we the, these soldiers are always saluting each other. They're saluting their flag. They're saluting their families. They're saluting their superiors. And today, this one day, we're going to take a few moments to salute them. And so it's just a script that ties together some of the songs you may already know or are already using. But it's a script that ties together songs that are all available on Music Play Online. And you can change it, use it any way you want to, um, but maybe make it appropriate for your for your Veterans Day program over. Here, this American song one over here is um, a little more Americana patriotic, but would also work for either a um, Veterans Day program or a Memorial Day program. So, and you know, all of these musicals that are there, you are you are so welcome to change and adapt them in any way that you want to. If there's a song that doesn't work for you, take it out and put in a different one. If some of the script doesn't work for you, change it. The nice thing about um, what Denise has allowed us to do here is that. Um, they're all, this is all our stuff and we can do with it whatever we want to do with it. And that includes giving you permission to change it up, make it work for you. That's a goal. So, the, and then the final thing I, I thought maybe I would show you just because um, we're talking about the, the fall holidays. If I go back, I'm going to go back to discover because this is not how I know how to do it. I know you can get to these different ways, but right again for this, just sing for the seasons. Um, I've just written a brand new one here for you um, in the fall Thanksgiving songs here. Um, and this is this one is um, at our table, and it's really um, the the idea is that everybody is welcome at our table. And in fact, um, that, do we have time to sing a little bit of it? Uh, why don't we let's just sing a little bit of it because I think you'll you'll get the idea pretty quickly. And, and we'll do this um the notation. Maybe I'll do the notation with accompaniment because there's not a lot of choreography to this one because it's a ballady sort of thing. But um, I did do a little bit, and you'll notice that I always put the um that that the choreography notes just to remind you of it as you're going through it are in this this link. So here's a little song at our table, which hopefully maybe. Thank you. 
Maybe you can sing that at your family get together this year, if nothing else. And of course, we're done Thanksgiving already. In Canada, we. Oh, yeah, you just had yours already. Yeah, we you? had ours. I had my turkey. It was really, really good and had a really nice family day and beautiful, beautiful enough weather that we had a, a fire pit out in the, the backyard which and roasted marshmallows. I have a very weird thing to tell you. I love stuffing the turkey. <laughs> I love feeling the skin. And <laughs> it's a it's a strange fetish, but it's one that I have anyway. <laughs> and that's okay. And uh, the script for the Veterans Day program, it'll be in two places. You can ac access it from the Discover page and John Jacobson's musicals, and it's called Salute. Or you can access it through Units Programs. And and either either way, you'll be able to get it. So I, I hope everybody has a fun fall and a wonderful Thanksgiving when that comes. I'm just looking forward to Black Friday now. Um, <laughs> I have my shopping list going already. But um, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope you have a safe and happy Halloween. I'm going to be out in BC instead of with my grandkids this year, but I'm sure I'll see lots of little trick-or-treaters. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much, Denise and John. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Thanks, Anne. Good job. Thanks, Bye. everybody. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your time with us today. If you would like to earn a PD certificate for this episode, download the accompanying handout, or watch the webinar, please go to workshops.musicplay.ca. See you next time. It's time.